uh, basically Make it speak snappy. to all these different guys, and then this is a speak to a different person. So you've got things like, as you can see, one mission, which is like a chain mission, making the rounds, you speak to different guys as you carry on, and then you've just got a quest that stays on its own. Allies are always so welcome. More than Federation! Bridge, the, uh, across the bridge across the bridge. So now you get two quests to speak to the same people. I don't know. It's kind of weird questing, just talking at the minute. Uh, those people, you don't get straight into the action. But I guess there's a reason for it. I guess it's a way of giving you gold to begin with, but um, not requiring to do loads of stuff. So we go over here. And we have this quest into the shell. It should give me a chest piece. Feel the core's power. Put it near. Gold next to Elves lead the way. Making the rounds. Continue the road. Understood. Feel okay, the so when you finish power. the quest, you get the, um, the chest. So you're kind of making rounds. It's like one of those quests in Zoldrak where you do things for each person, except this is just a lower level version. So these are the mobs you have to take the first quest. <laughs> So as you can see, you kind of roll away to kind of avoid their attacks. Yeah. And also, you can knock people down. As you see, there's like the loot drops, kind of, and you just walk over it and pick it up. Um, I mean, I guess they could, they may have something that have more intensive loot. Uh, you have to press F to pick it up, but who knows. So see if you can dodge to avoid the charging and move around and stuff. And they charge you as they die. Same way we can uh, target they can't. Pick me though, uh, some healing spells can target the curse. So you want to heal the right target. And as you can see, oh, press F. Okay, so you pick F to pick up items. So we have a bomb. So let's go to inventory. Level 5 and above. So let's just put that down there. So because it's got a cursor, you don't need to area target. It'll just wait 20 yards to get the cursor. Yeah. As you can see, you avoid these kind of targets. I don't think I like what happens. They need a massive combat. It's very beautiful. It's no fun to do. It's like, you know, sword fighting. And you do walk over press loop to F to loop things. It's kind of based on the games like Skyrim or the um, other game at the moment, which is not um, nice similar. No version of those, but you get things like that. You know, it's a game I'm not sure if you've seen the Rambler for once, and I know. I'm going to multiply the kids in this game, which is what it does. Uh, hidden steps, boots, uh, that balance. Ooh. I have no idea what that does. Uh, so when you craft things, you can actually use that when you uh, take things apart. It kind of helps multiply them. Oh, that's interesting. Healing moat. So as you see, there's moats like these, which like heal you as you walk across them. So you kind of have to do that as well. And it's interesting because the healers can lay down bombs, like healing stuff that you walk over, like, pick up the middle of the fire. You see, I didn't cross that ability. You don't really need to. So, so yeah, this, I mean, this game definitely seems to be rather fun. Uh, well, it, no, not seem, sorry, it is fun. Um, so, I'd say it's similar to Kingdom Rambler, Skyrim kind of thing. More similar to Kingdom Ramen, I guess. But things like jumping, you know, more open terrain kind of stuff. So it's definitely fun. Um, you can see up in the right hand corner, it's help for people that need it. Not sure if I really do. Let's see what's over here. Ooh, what's this? Fireplace? Ooh, oh, that's, yeah, one thing you need to look. See, stamina. Um, basically, what you need to do is as you fight, your stamina will go down, which like decreases your health and stuff, or health regeneration, mana regeneration and stuff. We need to stand by, uh, um, and go near fires and Elves place them down, kind of. You get, uh, 
feel the think, cold uh, get your power. Stamina up. This is kind of interesting. It's like, uh, there is one who has much uh, attack from sides behind to keep you in an angry zone. Travel with. So you want to kill some Gliadu and get a lucky egg. Uh, okay, so basically. So you combine it, you can combine it with other items. And basically, it's like this is like a daily quest or something, I guess, then. That's uh, quite interesting, actually. Let's see what we got Can I help? Another lucky one. So I can surprise, it's kind of like, I don't know, it seems to be something you can craft with or whatever. Um, I'm going to, one of the things I'm going to do at some point is after this video is, uh, do I have to kill more of these then? Okay, so it's like a daily quest after you kill four of them, you can continue to kill them and get more items. <laughs> Part of the collision, you kind of have to like, dodge around. So, oh, you automatically pick up and it's F to move gold. Yay. You automatically pick up cross items, yeah. Makes sense. Everyone. Uh, as you see, my stamina, my little health is one. So I think actually this is a very fun game actually. I'm not, oh, I would never quit it for like World of Warcraft. I feel like it's a like, common like, current target health thing like that. So if you're not actually looking at them, say if you're against a boss and you're dodging away to look like that, you still see what health you're on. That's rather cool. And I love all the different chat channels. <laughs> what I do like about this bit is because it's a bit on during the day. A lot of people are at school or maybe at work. So the service bit is a bit damn it. Crafting armor, checking the flow, and the flow. Okay, I don't know what. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll ask some questions. Uh, this area. Crafting work in this. Some things is just, everyone has every. Um, questions will still be valid at like max level, though, but they'll use max Uh, one of the things you see is I think the damage uh, above like 100% gives you the uh, bonus health and mana pool. Now I don't know why these beers have uh, gold, but who knows. Ooh, and apparently it's got headshots and stuff. I don't know. I mean, with the action targeting like this, I would assume there may be more damage in certain ones. What I do like is you can kind of, you can kind of tell when you're going to do targeting. And, you know, the general art style, okay, fair enough, it was designed in Korea, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Oh, is there a quest here? Okay. One shot. To be fair, this is kind of how I expect when you're rolling like this. This is kind of how I expect, say, monks to play in uh, Wood All Craft. We'll see when that happens. Apparently, you can steal items no one. Ooh, so, you can see, to really stick with you, if you don't need items for a while, they become visible to other people to kind of steal. Not sure. Uh, cannot trade, standard of blood. Oh, no, no, that's fine. Not the. Oh, uh, no, my current one I'm wearing can't. So the one, some, I can't equip that because I'm not odd priest, sorcerer, or mystic. Oh! It's already got sockets. So what the. So standard gear has gem sockets and stuff already? 
Ooh, that's that's very interesting. Very interesting at all. I do like if you can actually knock people back as you're attacking them. Like, back with the So I can do that. Oh, I've got more time. Very interesting quest. So where do I head? There we go. Overall, very good. Uh, approaching speed. Okay, so it's not yours. So whether or not it, it takes time before things become yours, uh, let's just have a quick rest at the fire. You know, I actually find this interesting. You kind of stand near fire, not to cook necessarily, to heal. One of the things I will do at some point is learn how to do uh, professions. I'll read up on the professions and crafting and stuff, how it all works. Uh, it may be a Uh, so I've got to move on to the next camp then, so, there we go, two eyes camp down the road, okay. Okay, the game does look very, oh, that's so beautiful. Uh, it's a good thing they don't have flying maps in this game, apparently they're not ever really going to add them, which is kind of good. So you get to see such a beautiful world from the ground. And as you can see there, actually, that's a portal. Uh, when you use, um, because the world's like meant to be quite big, and it is you know, rather big if you look at it. This is just a starting zone, and look how big it is. And look. Uh, when you use flying mounts, like, uh, you know, um, the flight paths, they sometimes go through these portals to kind of go from zone to zone. Kind of Every deal falls apart. Okay, hunting the beasts, lucky egg. For the Federation. Mm -hmm. Let me show you what I've got. Rounds. You so must need you to help. Camp. Always willing to lend my expertise. We're all in this together, eh? Uh... Like any science, combat has its geniuses. Ready to learn new skills. Simple, okay. Cool words. Now show me deeds. So learn Rain of Blows, which is... Oh, they've already given me plenty of gold for that. Hi. Learn Rain of Blows. Now I need to talk to her. Stay true to the deals you make. And you get some gold after learning it. Make a shortcut for each new skip. So, let's go to K. And it's already shortcut for that's kind of cool. And that's, you know, rather quick response between each ability. That is, oh, that's rather cool. So anyway, we need to go and kill some heartwoods now. Yeah, you don't want to roll through. 